Well, also tonight, justice and accountability. One day after fellow officers cleared the van driver of wrongdoing in Freddie Gray's death, what's next for the supervisors still facing administrative charges? Tonight, concerns about the process persist. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live at the University of Baltimore, where these trials are being held, and he has new analysis. Mike? Mary, the mayor told, I'm sorry, Denise, the mayor told WJZ today that she wants to see reforms to these trial boards, that she wants citizen involvement. Now, those who watched Caesar Goodson's trial board certainly were not surprised by the outcome, and they say that could very well be the same case with the other two supervisors whose administrative trials have yet to begin. Officer Caesar Goodson's lawyers placed the blame on the police department and ended up getting their client cleared of administrative wrongdoing, of making false statements, failing to call a medic, and failing to secure Freddie Gray with a seatbelt during the 2015 van ride that led to his death. So what does this mean for the administrative trials to come? If you were in the courtroom and you saw the evidence they had available to prove uh, that policies have been violated, it seemed like an uphill battle. Law but professor David Jaros has been following the case from the beginning. I absolutely believe that not only what happened to Mr. Gray, but what we learned from that day all the way through the trial boards is an indictment of how Baltimore is policing its citizens. Outside police agencies bring the administrative charges and officers decide the fate at trial boards, police policing themselves. The mayor has called for change. We're going to the General Assembly so that we can get citizens on our trial boards. I just had an idea that it was going to work out like that. Why is that? <laughs> Well, I, I, I feel that the uh, system has failed us a lot. Reverend Keith and Bailey was a mentor to Freddie Gray. I believe it will happen again. And even though he's gone, it will never bring him back. But uh, it's, it's a shame that this had to happen for the people to wake up. Police point to reforms from new vans to better training. The officers involved largely contend they were scapegoats who never did anything to harm Gray, that his death was simply a tragic accident. There's no question the system should be held accountable for what happened to Mr. Gray. The challenge has been to figure out who. The trial board for Lieutenant Brian Rice starts on Monday. The charges against him are not made public beforehand. Live at the University of Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you very much, Mike. All of the officers were cleared of criminal charges. Goodson is an 18-year veteran of the city police force. His lawyer says he looks forward to continuing on the job.